Hello, you level grinding cats and dolls of YouTube land. You level grinding junkies. I'm the anti hero drink, and as always, gamers, thank you for tuning in. So, as you know, I'm the RPG guy. I like to talk about RPG video games. But, um, I guess you could go say this is kind of a video response. It's just basically me agreeing with Alpha Omega Sin. As always, he's a powerful YouTuber, and he has a great opinion and a point when he does his videos. So, he was talking about how Steam's charging for mods. And, you know, at first I'm like, cool, I think these people deserve some type of compensation. Like, I dabble a bit in modeling. modeling. I mean, I go to the Academy for game art and game design. So I get, the, I get how strenuous it could be. And this is just the artistic aspect. If you want to go make an asset for a game, and that's what a model is can consider, whether it be a gun, a character, or whatever. But if you're going to make an asset for a game, you're talking about a low-end po um, you're talking about a low-end poly model, maybe a high-end poly model, depending on how much detail you want to go put into your work. We're talking about baking the maps. We're talking about texturing the model. We're talking about making sure it has the right edge flow so it deforms correctly and bends correctly. And then we're also talking about rigging it so it can actually move up and down, back and forth, and all this other stuff. And again, that's purely the artistic aspect. Not saying that then you have to go put it into an engine, then you have to go program it, and all this other scripting that goes along with it. And that's a lot of work. That's strenuous. I agree that they should be compensated for that. So I understand that aspect. What I got mad about it was the same thing Alpha Omega Sin got mad about. And I agree with him 100% that this isn't about the community. This isn't about compensating some very dedicated fans of games that it has nothing to do with that when Alpha Omega Sin brought up that I believe it was Valve is making a 75% make 75% off of whatever these modders make in cash 75 fucking percent that's like fuck you you're only worth 25% this is just somebody saying that I see a profitable market. I'm sorry I just cut myself off, but I'm really mad. Like, that's just somebody saying I see a profitable market where I can fuck it up. I don't give a fuck about these games. I just want to go make more money. The rat race. I need to make as much money as fucking possible. And it defeats the purpose because a lot of people are going to look at this like, you know what? We should pay these models. They do do a lot of work. And that's not what anybody's going to be... That's not why people are going to be arguing it. They're going to be really mad that they're not making anything or for them to make anything that they're going to have to overcharge for mods. And I really agree with Alpha Omega Sending. That's going to fucking happen. Overcharging for mods. And you're going to have people go ape shit like, this is no fucking different than console gaming. And you know what? You're right. It wouldn't be any different from console gaming. This is just another form of DLC done by somebody who has no real interest in the community at large. And that's what I'm mad about. I'm like, the commodity community is pretty big for certain games, and they've done a lot of work. I believe there should be some type of compensation. I agree with Alpha Omega Sense. Tip jar idea, that sounds really great. I wish that if these individual modders opened up a PayPal or a GoFundMe account where they could go say, hey, you know what? It took a lot of work. It took a lot of effort. Um, if you could go give whatever you could go give, if you enjoyed my mod, here's my PayPal, here's my GoFundMe. I find those concepts a lot more applicable than what's actual, what Steam's actually proposing. Because if they're taking a cut... It's not going to the developers. It's not going to the modders. Like, I could kind of understand if it was strictly going to the developers, even as a big cut to go to the developers. I could kind of understand if it was going to the devs. But it's not even going to them. This is just going into the pocket of a very big corporation who's doing well financially. Should they... Uh, I mean, like, it's... Okay, like, you know, I'm melting down here. I know some people might be indignant to say, well, they're giving them a platform to make these mods. Then I'm more for the idea of like, what Alpha Omega Sin said, the chip jar, or more my concept. If these modders want to go do their mods on a separate site, or put it out there that, hey, these are my mods, this is my modding site, here's the mods I have for this game, please donate. I'm going to be more susceptible to do that than to actually pay Steam money. Because Steam money for a mod somebody else swayed, sweated and slaved over that they had nothing to do with other than giving them a room to put their mods on. 
And if you really want to go check out how crazy it is to go be, how crazy it could possibly be to buy some mods, I, I'm going to try to put a picture in, maybe, or a link to a site where you can go buy high quality models. And these are just models. These are characters, pictures, and the price range fluctuate like crazy. You could go be looking at something for $5 and jump to something that's worth $60, then jump to something that goes almost up to $200. And then the quality is great. The quality is all there, but these are people literally trying to go make their living off of selling their art. And that's where it becomes a problem because they're trying to make their living. They're trying to live by it. I'm not saying that the modders who have done the great work for Skyrim, Fallout, Left 4 Dead, and tons of other games shouldn't be compensated, but I don't agree with this model. Anyway, that's my thoughts, my opinions. Thank you for listening so long. Thank you as for always for tuning in. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you like what I had to go say. And definitely comment below because I will get to you as soon as I possibly can.